Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. First thing I want to say is I really appreciate all the new subscribers. We are officially at 1,000 subscribers, which is just incredible to me. Um, I can't thank everyone enough. I do plan on doing a live stream uh, coming up here, kind of just of a chill live stream. We can talk about you know, any uh, simple core, uh, this printer, clipper, anything like that, kind of just a chill kind of short live stream to say thanks. So look out for that. I primarily wanted to make this video on updating people on what's happening with this printer. So again, I really appreciate all the interest in this printer. Um, this was a very quick slap together prototype that I basically just used carbon fiber rods off of AliExpress and I wanted to try and make the lightest X carriage I could and see how it printed. Some example prints that I did on this printer just as like a proof of concept are this Desert Kiss. Uh, really, really awesome. It, it actually did print very, very well. I, I'm, I'm very surprised for a Bowden um, printing, you know, re really fast. Same thing, again, I just kind of printed out a, a quick low poly Gengar here just so I could kind of see does this work, that type of thing, and with some basic cooling. Um, again, very, very surprised on how well those printed. So, what's happening with this printer? First thing is, I am going to be calling this printer Carbon Core. And this is going to be a brand new, from ground up printer that I'm going to uh, basically design with the idea of using carbon fiber rods as the X. I'm definitely going to be making some changes to what's here for sure. So going forward, this is going to have 2040 extrusions all the way around. I get m more mounting options with that. I can get a heavier frame, which is really nice. You want a nice weighted frame, especially if you're gonna be printing this fast. I'm still gonna be using closed loop steppers on my uh, AB motors here, so that's not gonna change. Um, I have been redesigning the X carriages. So my first iteration here was this here. So basically um, this is gonna be more of a vertical configuration, which makes more sense. I'll have more room um, for the actual tool head to, to move around, all that kind of thing. So this was the first iteration. Um, I ran into a couple issues with this style so I actually settled upon the final revision here which I'm just printing out some prototypes now is um, it's a little bit uh, shorter but it's a little bit wider and uh, I'm kind of just this is the first physical print I've done of the CAD just to see how well everything works I am going to be trying to use as many threaded inserts as I can all of the M5 bolts will be have um, kind of M5 nylon lock nuts in there and all that kind of stuff. So should be a very nice part, uh, 10 millimeter belts across the board. So the Z is obviously still gonna be belted. It's gonna be 10 millimeter belts and X and Y are gonna be 10 millimeter belts as well. I am going to be switching to direct drive. Uh, I really think that for a printer like this, direct drive just gives you much more flexibility with printing different filament types and that type of thing. You also have much less retractions. And if you're going to be printing this fast, you want as little retractions as possible. I do plan on still supporting like a Bowden if someone wants to. So essentially the tool head that I'm going to design is going to support the Fadis Rapido rigid mount. And then you can actually use the Bowden adapter that comes with that hot end and you can run a Bowden if you want. However, this printer is going to support Sailfin extruder out of the box. It's one of the lightest extruders out there, uh, very easy to build, parts are easy to find, and it uh, will basically suit this printer very, very well. So we are going direct drive. Uh, next thing is I am going to be adding remote layer cooling with a CPAP fan. So I have purchased a CPAP fan that's gonna go on the back of the new printer and it's gonna have remote cooling so we have proper cooling. I've also ordered two 
blower fans for the side. Again, I'm just experimenting with them. They're $8. They're very, very inexpensive. I just want to play around, see if it makes sense to have those on the printer by default or how the cooling is with just the CPAP, that type of thing. So those are kind of the major changes. Like I say, 2040 uh, frame, direct drive, and we're going with CPAP cooling. So that's the idea there. And uh, like I say, I've ordered most of the parts already. I just kind of got to wait for, for them to come from AliExpress type thing. So I am going to be basically focusing on a couple other projects while I wait. Um, I do have to put Clipper on this Anycubic Predator. I want to do some upgrades and stuff like that on it. I am still designing the Z for the new printer. Like I say, this will use belted Z, but all the mounting and stuff is going to be completely different because of the 2040 frame. I'm also planning on getting rid of the printed parts on the bottom. The feet are just going to bolt directly to the frame. Again, I want it nice and low and as stiff as possible. And then um, I'll, I'll of course start releasing videos on as I assemble the printer, you know, revisions, that type of thing. And we'll see a bunch of uh, print examples and quality and stuff. I'm for surely going to compare the printer to the Bamboo Labs X1, which I have on the way. So that, that'll be nice as well too. So. If anyone has any questions about this printer, like I say, it's called Carbon Core now. Please feel free to join my Discord. I have Instagram now as well. I'll put that in the description. You can join there. I'm going to be uploading pictures on builds and revisions and things like that very, very regularly. Um, I do have a Patreon if you want to support me. That's great. You definitely don't have to. And uh, yeah, like I say, stay tuned for more updates on a complete redo and like I say it's going to be called Carbon Core and I'm going to make a full dedicated GitHub for it. There's a dedicated channel on my Discord for the new printer and expect to see some more builds and more um, information coming out on this. Thanks again everyone, I really appreciate the support.